So you just turn this machine on, press power on, twist this, is, and then hit reset. Okay, what I wanna try to do is make sure that this is off the limit switch. And right here, uh, you're gonna go into uh, home. And you're in each axis, you're gonna do plus all the way. If this switch is above this, it's gonna over travel and then you gotta, it'll, it'll do an e-stop and then you have to uh, get up there and loosen the belt, so. You just wanna make sure you're off your sensors. So I'm in Z and it's just moving. So you select Z, right? Yeah, yeah, I select Z with this. And then you'll see the light come on. And then Y, I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. So it's not gonna fly. So you can see now it's moving in Y and we're gonna get all these lights lit. So it's best when you're, you don't leave the machine in this position. Yeah, yeah under the switch yeah leave it all like that's yeah you want to make sure it's under the switch okay so we're we've touched all our sensors i had to back off on the y because we were going to hit something over there mm -hmm. but all our lights have turned on so now you can go into jog or you can go in your handle mode jog i think this controls your jog and you don't want to hit plus you want to hit minus mm -hmm. and then it's a, just a good habit to get that off off of all the limit switches when you zero, when you zero uh, homing, it's always plus. Yeah, you can see right there. There's a little uh, thing there. So essentially, you could run a program from here, and to do that, you just go into your program, and uh, you could press uh, uh, cycle start. But uh, over here, you have some stuff that's like single block, mm -hmm. um, right uh, you know, feed hold. So that should be uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, Obviously, there's the lube pump in the back, so this light will turn on as your limit switches. Um, so to get a, your, your offset, you go into um, offset menu, and uh, this is your tool list. Right here is your work coordinates. This is overall, this is G54, 55, and then you can get a couple in there. Um, but uh, yeah, you hit offset menu again, and this gives you your tools if you want to do that. Tool length. Yeah. So in the parameters, you can go diagnostic parameters. Um, this, uh, there's a PWE. If you hit this uh, to one enable, uh, that'll actually allow you to uh, change your parameters, and that's what you need to do to drip feed it. Um, and then the parameters are in the book. So I'll go down and I'll scan. I'll look at the book and scan uh, to see what parameters need to be changed to make sure it's in DNC. Okay, so you can see to enable drip feed, you have to be in MDI uh, in your parameters. PWE, what I just showed you, you have to enable it. Uh, I believe you just press one and then input. And then in the diagnostic, we can scroll to number 530. And these are the, uh, the, the two parameters we gotta change. And then change the PWE back to zero. I believe it calls an e-stop or something. And, you might just have to press e-stop or, or, or reset it, but uh, we'll just double check. To our parameters, we're gonna go to, I think it's, we're in parameter, we need to go to diagnostic to 530. Maybe, okay, diagnostic, you hit, have to hit this again. And then we gotta go to 530. Five thirty, zero zero one. Okay, yeah. So you can see right here, this had, you'd change this one. to uh, zero one, and that's in memory. If you want to go into drip, you have to change it to one one. So, so how to delete a program in edit mode? Uh, you gotta you gotta type an O. Th this is an O, uh -huh. and then two zero zero one, and then it should just be a delete. So we just deleted that program. Um, how to create a program in the library. So you could go 02002 and then hit uh, uh, insert and that'll, uh, that'll come up. So to ch we're gonna change the program to 001. We're gonna go to auto mode. We're gonna go to 01001 and then cursor down. So that's how you get the program. Uh, to, to load a, load a Load it from the computer, go to auto mode, 
uh, enter the code on the computer so what you save it as an in input so we can try that it, it should come up maybe an error right now but because um, we don't have a program so but we could go oh let's say 3001 and then it was input okay so but it would like if the if the computer was prepped to send it yeah, it yeah. would it would take it so in our position uh, we can go relative and if we want to use this in a manual mode you could go uh, y uh, to zero it out y cancel and that zeroes it out and then you could switch here we're in our handle mode and then you see if you turn this it uh, it adjusts that okay so in our offset we've been we pressed the offset menu this is our g54 if you adjust this it adjusts all of them yeah, yeah. Um, let's say we go x negative or uh, we're gonna change this negative 115.002 and it should be input. So, and that, that'll change your G54 there. And that uh, is based on uh, your machine coordinates, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be, uh, what, I, what I used to do was uh, take, take the, uh, I think it's this, take your machine coordinates, or you could try which one. Mm -hmm. I'm like you think about it, yeah, it might, well, it's right. I think it, this is it because when you see your your we're four almost five inches yeah. down on the Z, yeah. that looks about five inches yeah. there. It's not one. It's not two. So I'd usually just when I get my part set, I'd take a photo of this and then just input it into my uh, offset. Usually, what I do to shut these down is hit the E stop and then hit power off and then just go in the back panel and turn it off. Then that way, this discharges all the electricity and. Uh, you don't have any surges. Yeah, so right here is a spindle pump. This is, uh, or not the spindle pump, the way loop. Uh, so this is not based on spindle time. This is just based on machine on. So you could leave your machine on all night and it'll just keep pumping uh, way oil. Um, but, um, you know, there's that. Yeah, just way, uh, just normal way oil is what I've put in. Right here, this is where the uh, the batteries are. So what, what will happen is uh, if these if these batteries ever run out, it's like a watch, it'll lose all its parameters. So every so on, they say every year, but it's just enough to keep the memory on. Um, but in theory, if those lose, like you don't change these when the machine's off, you have to change them when the machine's on, because otherwise it'll lose all the parameters and won't know how. To so run. right in here is your, uh, it's just a Z-axis uh, timing belt. So if you ever uh, over travel this at home, you can just, it, it loses power and then you just turn this and it drops your Z down. That machine was a BT40, so the you can see this is a Cat 40, and you can see the the issue between the two of them, where this is a longer... Uh, yeah, this is only for tool changing, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, and you can run it. I you'd, you'd have to do the measurements to see if this yeah, yeah. is the same, but I'm pretty sure I had a Cat 40 in there and it was fine. Yeah. Um, but uh, As long as I have this... And right here, this is the tool unclamp button. So you have to have air pressure, mm -hmm. and you uh, you have to hold that. And I think you have to be in edit mode. Like, um, but I'm pretty sure you hit this, and then it should pop out. Right here was a key. Like I just pushed it in there because guys were turning that key um, to to go into edit and not. So I just didn't want it to. to be so right here, you can see the stop bits are two, parity's even, baud rate's 2400, data bit seven. So and this is your on and off characters. So it's just uh, something to keep in mind. That's it, a piece of history is leaving. There's a